<clears throat> well, good morning, y'all. I just woke up for the second time. <laughs> I was up at 3. I stayed up to about mm, 6. I'll go back to sleep. So I'm just getting up for the second time. I'm going to go ahead and hit this shower and everything. But I wanted to update you guys on some things and some stuff real quick. So what is going to happen is today I'm going to start back getting my stuff together. So anybody that's been following me for years, you know, one of the things that I say is if your body ain't right, you ain't that damn spiritual. And I've been battling with shit for a long time as far as my weight goes. And so now it has got to the point where my health is involved. Um, I say the largest I've gotten up to was 215 pounds. Um, the first time I got down to 183 pounds, pounds before I got pregnant again. And I went from 183 back to like 200. And after that, I had the baby, I got up to 215. 215 is like, no, no, ma'am, we're not doing this. And I get my ass in gear. Well, I lost 25 pounds before I left Europe. And like, trying to get weight off and managing your diet, especially when you somebody like me that loves to eat and love to cook. It's not easy. So, I fell off my diet again. And then with this quarantine, it was just ridiculous. So, I got back up to 200 pounds. So, this time, I'm going to take y'all with me. Y'all hold on real quick. Because I got to see what's, what's causing this to be like this. Hold on. I'm kind of... I'm to cure my scale. Okay. Ain't no sense of y'all looking at the ceiling while I wait. I'm waiting for it. It's a zero app. I know it ain't no Wi-Fi because I haven't programmed you. Now it's going back to sleep. Y'all hold on. Let me see what it is without me holding this phone. Because I'm getting different numbers. One moment. Oh, there we go. Oh, hell. Anyway, it has said 199.9. All right. Then with the phone, it's going to be an actual 200. So, dying and stuff about to change again. And I've done various diets and things, but, you know, considering the issues that I have with my digestive tract, and, you know, the previous history I just have with my body itself, I know the best way for me to lose weight. There's no starch. <laughs> How do you live life with no starch? You know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay, so you know the phone add a couple of ounces and I still have my dress on but anyway so I'm still around 200 pounds and that shit got to go but uh I'm gonna start that today I mean y'all see for the past couple of days I get on my video I complain about my skin my skin does not normally look this bad I don't normally cry so many tears as you can see right there these is my eyes watering they've been watering a lot more than they usually do before I was a while, I was waking up with all this crusty shit in my eyes, and that is not normal for me, not to the level or the degree I was waking up. So, they just was clues that hey, getting sick again. So, yeah, so we about to start this journey and everything. I think I'm gonna just share this one on YouTube because people really be wanting to know what be going on, and I'm just saying, like, y'all are still up in here, especially with this camera. This camera is like zoomed in, and I don't know how to zoom it out. So, I mean, I look real big around my neck and shit in this camera. It's it's not really that big, but, yeah, it just looks. But I got to get this out for me. So, um, shit, I want y'all to help keep me accountable. If I ain't talking about it, ask me about it. You know, hold my ass to the fire. Because this is one of the things in my 
physical life and my spiritual life that I really, 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 really struggle with. Because, I mean... I mean, your girl can cook. She can throw it down. And I can pretty much cook anything from any country, from any culture. <laughs> and it'd be delicious. And uh, I just enjoy food. And it's not that, you know what I'm saying, I'm the type of person that just get to the table and become gluttonous. But a lot of things that I eat aren't necessary. <laughs> the best choices you can make for a healthy lifestyle, you know. So, uh, plus, I don't use shit like margarine or fake-ass butter. I, I use real butter in my food. For instance, like my peach cobbler. Baby, you fight your mama over that peach cobbler. But let me tell you something. You better not eat that thing. You better not eat that whole damn peach cobbler by yourself. You gonna have cholesterol issues and diabetes. That's, woo! That thing is, oh my God. But yeah, all of that. I just wanted to update y'all on that. I'm going to go ahead and get in here. Take me a shower before my other student gets here. School is still in session. And uh, I'm going to shower. Give me some clothes on. To get my day started. And then I'm going to go down there. And I'll show y'all what the fuck my regimen looks like. And how entertained I'm about to be for the next. At least two months. Alright. So y'all stay dark and lovely. While spreading your love and light. See you in a little bit.